Hello, this is part five of my Electro House song tutorial. If you have not seen parts one through four, I put the links to them in the description. Today's video is going to be a little bit shorter because we're only going to be talking about white noise. Now, white noise is that hissing noise that you hear uh, during the drop. Sometimes you hear it filter in and out during other parts of the songs. But the purpose of white noise is to give your song a larger sound. Now, what white noise is, is it simply that kind of hissing noise that you hear. Um, but we're going to do a little bit more to it than just have the hissing noise. So the first thing we're going to do is create a new instrument. So we're going to go up to the plus, make a new software instrument, and we're going to go into our mixer. And we are going to load up a ES, uh, let's see, ESP polyphonic synthesizer. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to turn up noise and then we're going to turn down the other five oscillators. Next, we're going to turn the frequency all the way up. We can turn the resonance all the way down, the overdrive all the way down, the decay and sustain all the way up, release almost all the way down, make sure the attack is all the way down, and we're going to turn the volume of the noise down to about three quarters. Because we already have one big long note here, we could just copy and paste it down onto our noise track, and we'll just delete this uh, pitch bending automation. So, let's see what we have here. Yeah, right now it sounds a little bit like static coming out of a TV, and just by EQing it, we can make that sound a little bit more like that kind of compressed air sound that makes your drops sound pretty awesome. So we're going to shrink this down so it's just a four measure note, and let's give it a listen. So it's not sounding too great right now, but let's also rename this. We're going to open up an EQ, and what we do in here is going to be very important. So we're going to cut out everything below about 700 hertz, and we're going to put a huge peak in around 2800. Now what you put in to your EQ doesn't have to be exact. Uh, you can move these knobs up, down, left, and right to uh, figure out the sound that you like. But the sound that I go for when I EQ this white noise is, is really think of what compressed air would sound like. There's kind of like a, a mid-range hiss and then like a really high frequency hiss, which is what we're doing here with the high shelf on the right. All that low frequency stuff we want out because that, that's the rumbling that kind of makes it sound like static from a television. So we're going to we're gonna do a uh, low cut. At, we'll call it 700 hertz. Next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to side chain this. Uh, this is going to be the same setup, uh, but we're going to have an extremely fast attack and an extremely fast release. So we want to use the FET circuit type. We're going to load up bus 3 in our side chain input, bring the compressor threshold all the way down, and we're going to turn the master gain down to minus 4 on the compressor. Let's actually turn the attack and release all the way down. Um, maybe we'll turn the ratio down a little bit too. Let's go back into the EQ, give it some more high frequency. Really boost the presence of the high. And you're definitely going to want to turn down your gain a little bit. I'm going to use uh, minus 6 because this is coming in really loud. And you'll find that the overall gain of the white noise only has to be very little. So we're going to drag this down to like minus 6. And we're going to add a little bit of reverb, so we're going to send this to bus 1. Maybe bring the ratio down to 6. Of 
cool. So at this point, we have all of our instruments laid out. We have a basic mix. So in the next video, we're going to talk about putting all the finishing touches on this mix, adjusting all the volumes of everything, taking care of all the mastering to make this song sound as loud as possible. And then we're going to go over a few organizational tips to help you lay out your song if you'd like to extend this into a full length song. So part six will be coming up soon. It will be the final part. And when you guys have finished your tracks, feel free to upload them to YouTube, SoundCloud, or wherever you like to use. And you can send me a link and I'll listen to it and I'll tell you what I think. All right. See you next time.